Hi, I'm Miss Kelly and I'm here at Jolie's Hair and Beauty Academy and we have the honor of doing an Ar Armorette's makeup over today. And I'm here with Ashley, an esthetician from our school, and this is Amanda and she's going to be our model for today. We're going to start with applying a stage makeup on her. And the first thing we are going to do is apply her concealer around her under her eyes and on other areas that she may be having little dark areas or little light spots, so we want to get rid of all those. I'm sure she's been working out a lot, so she's probably tired, so we're going to make her look wide awake today. And so that's what Ashley's first starting to do, and then she's just going to take her sponge and she's going to blend all that in an upward motion for us. And that's how we're first going to start with the concealer. And as you can see, she's just rubbing it in, blending it all in, making sure she gets all under the eyes. Excellent. And now we've done the concealer, and now we're going to start on the foundation. So again, Ashley's going to apply the foundation on the cheek areas, forehead, chin. And this is what's going to give her her solid canvas. And for any time you're going to be on the court or anything like that, you want to put a little more makeup on because when the camera or people taking pictures or anything, you're going to look a little paler. So you want to go a little heavier on that makeup. And as you see, Ashley's applying it down her neck just to make sure we all blend in here. And this will get rid of any shine or anything on her skin. That way she won't be in a glare. And now she is completely blended in, so we will continue on our eye makeup. She's going to do some smoky eyes today, and the color they have picked is going to be your gray, white, and black. So Ashley's going to start off by putting her base on the eyes, which is going to be her lightest color now. And that will be the white. She will apply it to the whole eyelid. And you really want to make sure you put enough makeup on the eyes because that's what we want to pop out is her eyes. And Amanda has beautiful eyes to start off with, so it's very easy for us to do this. Just remember you can always wipe off, but you don't want to have to put back on. Once she's applied the white and knows she has enough there, there she's going to go into the center of the eye and apply the darker shade there. And the great thing about smoky eyes, you can really do what you want. The colors, the more colors you put in, the more layers you put on, just the better it's going to look on her, especially when people are standing away from her. And now she'll make them look a little more dramatic in a minute when she blends this in. And as you can see, the effect already is starting to take. It's starting to get that smoky effect. And that's really what they're looking for, to make these girls' eyes pop out. And now she's going to take her last color, which is very dramatic, but once she blends it all in, you're going to see the difference in how they become that smoky effect. And she rolls her brush a little bit. You can see that. But again, as you can tell, she used her white, the lightest color, as basically her primer to set the eyes up exactly how they should look. This will make the other colors layering on top of each other, and that will give her the effect. And the nice thing about makeup, you can take some off or you can put more on where you need it. So now that you've seen, you can see the stages that she's gone. She's gone from light to medium and then the darkest, and now she's just kind of rolling it to smoke it in here. Now that Ashley has finished her smoky eyes, now we're going to put a little eyeliner on each eye on the top of the, the lid right here. And what that's going to do is just going to make the eyes more vibrant and pop out a little bit more for her. So that's what Ashley's going to perform now. And basically, you can see how she's applying it. She's more rubbing back and forth, not just drawing a straight line. She's staying very close to the lash there. And what happens in makeup, a lot of the times, people's face get lost with all the lights and everything. So this is going to make sure Amanda's face is nice and clear. 
Ashley's going to be doing the exact same thing. As you see, she's taking small strokes, going right across that lid there. And you can tell by looking at the eyes how it's going to open that eye. Beautiful. And when she's done with this, then we will apply some mascara on her to make her lashes a little deeper and darker. Now that we have finished the eyeliners, what we're going to do is the completion on the eyes, and that would be the mascara. So again, Ashley is going to take the mascara, and she's going to do the final touch on Amanda's eyes. As she's applying the mascara to go up, you can see her rocking it back and forth because we want to separate those eyelashes because this is actually the final for the eyes and that's what makes them appear larger now for her. And once she's completed this part, then we will move on to the blush and the lipstick. Now that we have finished the eyes, what we're going to do is apply a blush to give her a little more rosy in her cheeks. And that's what Ashley's going to start now for her. You want to apply the blush at her cheek air bone here, going up. And again, Amanda has beautiful cheekbones there, so it'll really nice go up on her. Again, you always want to make sure you apply enough. Very nice. And now that she's applied the blush to both sides of Amanda's face, the next step will be moving on to the lip liner and then the lipstick. And the lip liner is so her lips won't get lost in her face and people will be able to see her nice lips there. And she's a nice, even, smooth motion there, outlining that lip. And now she will apply the final lipstick to go over that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do our final step in our makeup application, and that's going to be putting on the final powder. And what that's going to do is set all the makeup in place for her. And Ashley will start that now. And this just blends everything together. And now she's finished applying the translucent powder. And you can see our armorette is all ready to go and have her hair done. And that will be the end.